Hello and welcome to this new Excel tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and benefit from the advanced filter feature in Excel, a very powerful filtering and extracting capability. I'm going to start by comparing it to auto filter, demonstrate how to use and create multiple filter criteria, how to extract and filter certain columns instead of the whole table. At the end of the video, a final note on using the advanced filter feature and possibilities to automate. So let's get started. Basic auto filter in Excel is a very powerful tool to sort and filter data. You can apply the filter to the columns by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus L or going to the Data tab, Sort and Filter section. Excel has built-in filter criteria for date, numbers and text. Simply click on the Filter drop-down menu. Excel will show you the built-in criteria for your column format. These criteria will cover most of the scenarios you have, but not all of them. In addition to that, auto filter has its limitation. Excel offers an advanced filter option that allows you to create a much complex filter. Not only that, you have the option to extract the filtered data to a new independent list. This is very helpful, especially if your data contains formulas that might be corrupted by filtering. I will show you how it works in the next section. To use advanced filter, you need to create a criteria range that includes header labels at the top that are exactly the same as the table you want to filter. And then apply the advanced filter to it, so it is a two-step process. This means if I want to filter the date column, I must enter at the top the header label as my table and below it the filter criteria. Best practice is to copy the headings and paste them as headings for the criteria list. Let's say, for example, I would like Excel to filter dates between the 15th of January and the 15th of February. Select the criteria range and click on the Advanced Filter button in the Data tab. Here you can choose if you want to filter the table in place or copy the filter data to another location. For the first example, I will filter in place. Excel usually automatically recognizes your data table, and since we selected the criteria range before clicking on the Advanced Option button, it also recognizes the criteria range. If not, you can select the ranges yourself. Press OK when you finish. As you can see, the data selected is filtered based on the criteria we chose. When you filter based on multiple criteria, all criteria listed on the same row work with the AND logic. This means all of the criteria entered must be met. In the first example I showed, since both criteria were on the same row, Excel filtered for dates that are bigger than the first value and smaller than the second value. Now criteria entered on different rows work with the OR logic. This means that the data will be filtered if only the first criteria is met or only the second is met or the third criteria is met. Let's apply an example. I want to filter data where either wine was sold or where the revenue was over 5,000 euros. Select the criteria range, click on advanced filter. For this example, I would like Excel to extract the filter data to a separate location. Select the cell you want the filter table to be extracted to. Press OK. As you can see in the table extract, all wine sales are listed as well as sales above 5,000 euros. As a practice tip, before we continue, leave some distance between your criteria list and the location of the extracted table. At least two rows should be chosen. More are better. For number and dates, you can use the in Excel available logic operators that are normally used in functions and formulas, equal to, greater than, smaller than, etc, etc. For text values, if you enter a word, Excel will understand the filter as the text begins with this word, meaning it will return rows that begin with the word you entered. So instead, mark your text with wildcards on both ends, and Excel will consider the criteria as text containing the letters within the wildcards. Now let's apply an example with AND as well as OR logic containing text, date and numbers criteria. For the order ID, I would like to filter all text containing WI for wine. Thus, I already put WI between two wild cards. The second criteria that must also be met, since this is AND logic, is to filter dates that are bigger than the 1st of February. The last criteria is the country must be Germany. Otherwise, and here comes the OR logic, all revenue above 8,000 euros will also be filtered. So Excel should filter data where all the criteria in the first row are met or the criteria in the second row is met. 
Select the criteria range and go to Data Advanced Filter. Choose Extract Data to another location and specify where you want it. Make sure that the original data table and the criteria list are correctly recognized by Excel. Press OK. Voila, data that meets the chosen and or criteria are filtered and listed in the table. If you want Excel to extract certain columns but not the rest of the table, go to Advanced Filter dialog box. In the Copy to section of the dialog box, select the column heading you want and Excel will do the rest. To summarize, Advanced Filter is not as easy as applying normal filter but it is definitely worth the effort. Advanced filter can be applied to the same sheet. Writing the data directly to another sheet does not work, at least with the Excel version I have. Unfortunately, advanced filter is not interactive and dynamic, meaning if you change the criteria, the filter data will not dynamically change. You have to repeat the process manually. The best way to avoid repeating the process is by preparing a criteria range containing all the possible headers and a couple of rows. I recommend at least three rows and then recording a macro that can be activated with a single click. Check my other videos listed in the description below on how to easily record and apply a macro even if you have never had anything to do with it. Check my other Excel videos if you like this one. You can find the playlist in the description below.